premiering since 2005 on the Discovery Channel. Deadliest Catch has become one of the most popular reality TV series, providing an intense and thrilling glimpse into the world of commercial crab fishing in the treacherous waters of the Bering Sea. The show has since captivated audiences with its raw and unfiltered portrayal of the dangers and hardships faced by the crew members aboard the fishing vessels. And if you have been watching this season's episode, then you might have noticed that Josh Harris no longer appears on the show. He has been the star of Deadliest Catch since 2007, and for over 14 years he has contributed a lot to the show, so why is he not on the show now? Before that, let's get to know a little bit about Josh Harris. Josh Harris was born on March 18, 1983, in Seattle, Washington, as Joshua Grant Harris to Phil Harris and Mary Harris. He has a brother named Jake Harris, who was also star of Deadliest Catch from 2006 to 2020. But many viewers have no idea that they also have a half-brother, Shane. He is from their mother Mary's side, and he reunited with Josh in 2022. Josh Harris's father, Phil Harris, was the esteemed captain and part owner of the renowned crab fishing vessel, Cornelia Marie. This iconic vessel etched its name in the storied narrative of Deadliest Catch and left an indelible mark on the hearts of those who witnessed its epic journey. However, on February 9, 2010, Phil Harris succumbed to an intracranial hemorrhage at the age of 53 and passed away. The loss left a huge void in the maritime community that could never be filled. In the final season of Deadliest Catch, viewers were granted a glimpse of Harris in action for the last time. To honor his memory, the Discovery Channel organized a memorial service held on the scenic waterfront of Seattle, at Smith Cove Cruise Terminal Pier 91. It took place on the evening of April 30, 2010, just a day before the much-anticipated opening day for Puget Sound's boating season. It was a gathering filled with heartfelt tributes, as his sons took the stage to share their loving remembrances. Since his passing, his beloved crab fishing vessel Cornelia Marie has changed captains and is now presumably owned by Josh Harris and Casey McManus as co-owners of the vessel. And Cornelia Marie is no longer an integral part of Deadliest Catch, but it does make sense since both Josh and Casey are also not on the show. So where is it now? Well, according to VesselFinder.com, Cornelia Marie was last reported to be situated on the west coast of North America. However, another vessel tracking website indicates that it is no longer being tracked, suggesting that it may not be in commission at the moment. Getting back to the main topic of this video, why is Josh Harris no longer on Deadliest Catch? Josh Harris was reportedly fired after it was discovered he sexually assaulted a four-year-old girl in a 1998 criminal case, which is a serious crime. The U.S. Sun website has verified that Josh was accused of child rape on July 14, 1998. According to the official police report, an officer responded to a call at Providence Hospital in Washington on that day. The victim informed her mother that Josh had sexually assaulted her earlier, and the mother reported the allegations to the officer. However, no other information was shared because of the police report's disturbing details. After this was found out, Deadliest Catch officially cut ties with Josh Harris, which answers the question of why he no longer appears on the show. According to Cinema Blend, Harris wasn't formally arrested due to DNA processing delays. He then reportedly pleaded to lesser charges and served nine months. Also, as part of his sentencing, Harris reportedly took part in a psychosexual exam. So, it indicates that he isn't serving any prison time as of now. He is also not that active on his social media accounts, but judging from his tagged photos, it looks like he is taking time off the limelight and is hanging out with his friends and meeting fans. To support that, just recently on March 9, 2023, he was seen taking photos with whom we assume is his fan, or might be friend, Amy Zalaya, going by the handle, angel for me one And that's it for the video. What are your thoughts on Josh Harris? Did you like him? Do comment on what your thoughts are. Hit the like button and subscribe to our channel if you like the video, and stay tuned for more.